Shalom, this week's Sedra is Sedra Spishalach. If you do some research on the effects of the internet on faith, you'll find some interesting yet disturbing results. It seems that the main purpose of the internet, according to these sites, is to increase knowledge. And the increase of knowledge is the downfall of faith. Faith, they argue, exists above knowledge. And knowledge only increases skepticism, which is the nemesis of faith. The internet is evil, therefore, because it weakens faith with this spread of knowledge. The notion that knowledge takes away from faith is deeply troubling. This Devar Torah will examine the role of knowledge and faith. At first, the, this Devar Torah will examine the long-held popular position that knowledge harms faith. It will then move on to examine how people conclude what is and isn't real. real. The third part of the Devar Torah will explain how knowledge strengthens faith. Lastly, all points will be proven by examining a Pasuk about the man. The goal of the Devar Torah is to encourage true faith in its viewers. If asked, most people will answer that faith leads to belief or stems from a belief, but both are built above knowledge. Most think that faith and belief is the holding of a position of something not real. In the highest irony, and listen to this carefully, they think that knowledge is attainment of facts, while belief is what you use to relate to something outside of the factual. Most will fervently use faith to prove something that they don't hold as factual, yet it actually exists. Verifying what is real is necessary to understand knowledge and its role in comparison to faith. How is reality determined? Many people understand reality as something the five senses can detect. Something tangible translates into security for people. Real can be, some, can be something that people can't sense. Ideas are, most, are the most real things we have. When something is real, it is not temporal, it is eternal. The most eternal things man relates to are ideas, for ideas last eternally. Ideas are generated by acquired knowledge applied to contemporary problems that challenge the mind. It is only with knowledge that man can determine what is real. Faith, in the words of Rabbi Israel Chait, is knowledge of God as it concerns this one sense of security. It is only with knowledge that one can relate to something that they think exists. Simple belief and trust that something exists without examination is folly and fantasy. Faith based in knowledge and action is seen in the mud. Moshe tell the people, let no one leave over any of the mud until morning. What was the point of not leaving the mud overnight? The mud was the ultimate test of faith. The man was to transform the people's knowledge into concrete faith in God. By not leaving man overnight, the people took their knowledge of God's ability to provide, acquired through the experience of Egypt and the desert and the teachings of Moshe, and turned it into faith. Their security was enhanced by their knowledge, not lowered. And so was their faith. Shabbat Shalom.